Maester Eamon is one of the five black brothers to judge Jon Snow for his actions during his time with the wildlings. Jon hides nothing of his actions, neither his murder of Corrin or his affair with Egret. Sir Alistair Thorne, the acting commander of the Night's Watch, and the recently arrived Yarnos Slint believe that Jon should be executed for his actions and for the breaking of his vows, but Eamon defends him, saying that Jon was merely following Corrin's orders and that he isn't the first to have broken his vow of chastity. Sir Alistair points out that Jon has quite literally slept with the enemy. Jon counters with all the information that he had learned while among the wildlings, such as Mance Raider's strategy of attacking the wall from the north and the south, and demands that they either kill him or let him go. Aemon tells him that they have no intention of executing him and Jon leaves. Alyssa reprimands Aemon for having overruled him but the maester answers that he knows when a man is lying and when he is telling the truth. When asked how he acquired such insight, Aemon wryly replies that he grew up in King's Landing. Maester Aemon is present when Oli brings news of the massacre that occurred in his village. Many black brothers present want to retaliate, but Aemon reminds everyone that there are just over 100 men at Castle Black, including himself. He insists that defending Castle Black is the priority and they cannot afford to lose a single man. Jon Snow reluctantly agrees, reminding everyone that he knows from his time infiltrating the wildlings that they are trying to lure as many men out of Castle Black as possible to weaken it for the main assault from the north. On the eve of Mance Raider's assault on Castle Black, Maester Aemon confronts Sam in Castle Black's library. Aemon remarks on the ironies of old age. The library is well stocked with thousands of books, but his blind eyes can no longer read them. They discuss some of the propaganda surrounding wildlings before discussing Sam's feelings for Gilly. Aemon shares with Sam the same warning he gave to John, that love is the death of duty. Aemon implies that he would have become king of the Andals and the first men if he'd been willing to break his vows. He also mentions that as a royal prince, he was sought after by a great many women in his youth, but there was only one whose advances he accepted. Aemon reprimands Sam for not realizing his elders were young once too. Although Aemon says that his memories of that woman are in some ways more real to him than Sam is, given that he'll never really know what Sam looks like, he lets the subject drop and says that he and Sam should both focus on the duties. Following the arrival of Stannis Baratheon, Maester Aemon leads the eulogy for the Black Brothers that gave their lives defending Castle Black. When Jon Snow speaks to Tormund, the captive wildling curiously asks why he was given medical treatment. Jon tells Tormund that it is Aemon's duty as a maester to treat anyone who is wounded, friend or foe. 